What are must-have items in every styling kit that a stylist should have on hand? Well, since I style top celebrities, magazine covers, advertising campaigns and many other projects, I will tell you what are my top styling items that I cannot live without. For tips and advice about the styling industry, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is every Monday. Every stylist should have a styling kit filled with tools and items to help them do their job. Now, by the end of this video, you will learn exactly what styling kit essentials you should have on hand. Hi, my name is Basha Richard and I help a spraying stylist enter the styling industry. If you want to learn how I can help you become a stylist, schedule a free discovery call with me and I will link everything in the description below. In this video, you will learn what are my top 10 styling kit essentials, so let's get started. So before we start, all the items that I will talk about in this video will work both for a personal stylist and a fashion stylist. Now, if you don't know what is the difference between those two career choices, well, watch this video and I will link it in the description below. So we're gonna start with tool number one, which is a garment rack. Now, a garment rack is a must-have item whether you will work on set, as a stylist dressing like a model for a magazine cover or styling your personal clients. Now, I use a commercial rack, which is easy to assemble. It has a strong rubber wheels and it's collapsible as well. So it will easily fit inside the car. Now, the rack is really on a heavy side, but it's pretty easy to maneuver and it will hold a lot of clothes. So you don't really want to get something that will easily break. And I will link my favorite rack I'm using in the description below. Tool number two, rack dividers. Now, rack dividers are my favorite tool simply because they help to keep everything organized. Now, you can merchandise all the clothes by like sizes, type of wardrobe, and colors. It will be super helpful. Either you do like a closet detox as a personal stylist and you can divide and organize your client's clothes or if you work on set styling for like an editorial, like advertising projects. Now those rack dividers come in like different shapes and sizes and I will link my favorite ones in the description below. Tool number three, safety pins. Now I pretty much cannot work without safety pins. Now again, safety pins will be very useful if you have to fix clothes on set. So you can use it by pinning the back of the shirt to make it more fitted, pin the back of the pants if they are too big and use it in many other like very similar ways. Now before I started to work with my seamstress, I would use safety pins during fittings with my celebrity clients. So I would pin all the clothes that were like totally off fitting uh, or like slightly too big and I would drop it off with my, with my seamstress who would alter all those clothes for me. Now, if you're working as a personal stylist and your client has some clothes that they totally love, but those are like either too big or not fitting correctly, and you, can, and you can be altered, well, safety pins will be very helpful for you. So you can pin all those pieces for your client and drop it off with a local seamstress. Tool number four, top stick. Now I call top stick my best friend. Now a top stick is another word for a double-sided tape. This tape is super strong and it helps to alter clothes in many different ways. So if you're going to work on set, you should uh, have it on hand. It helps in closing gaps in button-down shirts. And if you dress a model, maybe like a celebrity client in a low-cut dresses or like jacket, you can use the tape to close the gap and make everything looks way more more like cleaner and smoother. Now, as a personal stylist, you educate your clients so you can show them how to use a tape if they have like a, you know, local, local jackets, shirts. So double-sided tape is not only a great tool to use on set, but you can also um, show it to your personal clients as well. Tool number five, mole skin. Now it's a secret tool that not too many stylists know about it. Now it's a soft and plushy fabric on one side and it's a sticker on another side. It's used at the back of the heel to protect the skin from getting like blisters, but 
You can also put it directly on the inside back of the shoe to protect your heel. Now, moleskin has more padding and it's way more softer and plushier than just like a regular band-aid. So you can use it um, not only like a back of the heel, but you can also put it like and stick it directly on the side of the foot, on like in the front of the foot, on like one whatever place it's rubbing. Now, I have been using this on my celebrity clients when they were like attending red carpet events and had new shoes or or they're like very uncomfortable shoes like Louboutins. They are like beautiful, but they are super uncomfortable. Now, it's a great hack for your personal clients as well. So instead of using Band-Aid, you can suggest a mole skin for them, um, especially when they get new shoes. Tool number six, bounce sheets. Now, this is actually a hack more than a tool, but it works really well. Now, bounce sheets, work um, perfectly as an anti-static and I have used them for years. Now, um, all you have to do is to take like one sheet and gently rub up and down on your skin and also under the fabric. Now, I use them on set and also for my personal clients and when you know, one of my clients are attending like red carpet events. Now, there are many other uh, like anti-static tools on the market that you can easily use, but I just found that Bounce uh, Sheets works just fine for me. Tool number seven, nipple covers. Now this item is a must have for every stylist working on set, but also for every celebrity uh, stylist who is dressing like their clients for red carpet events. Now a nipple covers comes in like different shapes and materials. So like there are the silicone ones and the fabric ones. And I'm not a huge fan like of those silicone one simply because it doesn't like look naturally and sometimes you can see them and their shape through the dress so i really don't recommend it i prefer like the fabric ones and they come in like fun flower shape and that perfectly fits now also a great suggestion for your personal clients who might want to wear like a low uh, v-neck dresses or like jackets and want the neckline to like really smooth so i will uh, link my favorite ones in the description below tool number eight measurement tape it's a staple for every stylist it's especially helpful when you are not sure what is your client's body shape and it's just so much easier to figure out if you measure them now when will you will measure your client it's important to take four measurements okay so you're going to take measurement of their shoulders bust waist and hips and now depending on measurements you will be able to figure out what type of figure your client has tool number nine sewing kit now sewing kit is a staple in every stylist kit and i got this one cute one i think it target and it has absolutely everything i need which are like needles threads then small scissors a few safety pins as well now a sewing kit is a must have item when a stylist is working on set just in case like a button breaks or we just need to stitch something really really fast i would also give a small sewing kit to my all my clients who would attend like red carpet since one of my clients Sarah highland had a huge wardrobe malfunction since then i would give all my clients a small little sewing kit just in case now as a personal stylist you can also keep a small like a sewing kit on hand just in case like you do a closet detox and like one of your clients um, might have like a loose button or you can stitch it something really fast so it's a great tool to have on hand tool number 10 clips now clips are number one tool for any stylist working on set now my favorite ones are the one with the rubber Tip. Those are like great simply because they will hold on to the fabric even though like your climate on set might be moving and um, but those clips with rubber tip are really strong now they come in different sizes you can easily get them like I think in Home Depot now so a stylist use them if they can't pin a jacket or a shirt with a safety pin now if you see the ones like without the rubber Tip, don't those won't work really well simply because the, there is no rubber tip and they will be too slippery so every time like your client will move on set they won't hold on to the fabric 
So now you know exactly what are my top 10 uh, styling kit essentials. If you want to learn more, make sure to grab my free guide. It's like a cheat sheet with tons of uh, resources for aspiring stylists. Everything is linked in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I post new videos every Monday. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.